Okay, so, well, let's see. <sighs> These, uh, things, you know, the, the one's obsessed, compulsed to carry on. Some people call it a calling. <sighs> Some people call it a curse. Some people call it the muse. I don't know. There's so many... Just Ulysses, you know, the uh, call of the sirens. There's so many myths about what beckons one to do what, 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 for some reason, you see, I see, one is, and it is me I'm speaking of, uh, dead set to have to accept. <laughs> it's not that anyone made a decision about it. It's like, Things are all just like fitting into such an order that I must go on a road trip. And uh, which is both exhilarating because I'm so happy to be able to do that, to go back to my old uh, meanderings of the west coast of California and Oregon, Seattle. All of that. What an epic journey, especially in. <laughs> Especially here with my buddy Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell is is a treat to travel with, and and uh, keeps you on your toes just to know how to navigate this land ship, which is this is like the uh, my return of one's own mythology. At one point when I ran away from Scotland in this huge truck that my, I drug my poor family with me. It was a, it was material for a novel. And I knew it. I knew it. That's all it was about. And, and I, so I gave it uh, titles and labels and descriptives of, of uh, what these things were. And, and the old truck wasn't just an old truck. No! <laughs> it was the golden land ship. <laughs> I wanted to return to Corsica like Theodor von Neuhoff had returned to Corsica. <laughs> I was so inspired by this lunatic, I thought, oh yes, that is how to return to Corsica. All right, uh, for those of you who are, are not <laughs> familiar with who was Theodor von Neuhoff? Well, he was a, a real character, first of all. It's documented from several different <laughs> uh, storylines. I'm not sure of the year. It might have been in the early 1500s or late 1400s. This pirate ship arrived off the coast of Corsica, near Bastia, I think is... Uh, the, the story, and nothing happened. It, it anchored out in the harbor, and then slowly, a large longboat was lowered off the uh, ship, and uh, a crew got down into the ship, and someone in bright colors, a golden, a chrome yellow silken blouse with velveteen, purple, uh, sort of like trousers, big flamboyant, like Arabic trousers, and, and these uh, boots with toes that curled up, and, and, this, and he's wearing this like Sultan's uh, headband around his, his head, and he's standing in the front of the longboat as it comes to shore. And it so happened this man spoke fluent Italian, which the Corsicans could understand. And he said he'd come to be the Roy, the king. <laughs> and they said, what? <laughs> Get out of here, you crazy man. He said, no, you don't understand. I don't want to do anything. All I want to do is to be the king. You do exactly what you always do. Plus, I will give you my ship and everything in it, and my whole crew. And they go, 
is he a raving lunatic? And they say, well, what, what you got in your ship? And he says, come look, take it away. It's yours to have. So the peasants all rode out to the big ship and sure enough, there was boxes and boxes, treasure troves of things. And they took them all back to the land and, and they said, well, what do you want for this? And he said, I've told you, all I want to be is the king. <laughs> I said, well, what will you make us do? He said, nothing. All you have to do is to make me your king. That's all I want. And so the, the elders agreed. That was a good deal. He could be the king. And they didn't uh, care. They had a the king voice to my to face anything. seems to be in some other place, Out of this ship, plus so to speak. The ship apart. Theodor von Neuhoff says, yeah, go ahead, take it. So they go out to the ship. They take all these boxes of treasures, come back. And uh, as I said, uh, you know, they get a little upset, very upset, because after a couple of weeks, all their daughters seem to be enamored with uh, Theodor von Neuhoff. And so they put him back on the longboat, push him out into the ocean, and uh, seemingly he is gone from history. But <laughs> that's where I gave up, I guess. However, persistence, uh, Theodor von Neuhoff had, if nothing else, he comes back five years later with like two ships full of goodies, saying, but please, please take me back as your king, I promise I'll be good, no more funny business at all, really, and you can have everything, so of course, they go out, they take everything, they dismantle the ships, and this time he lasts maybe, uh, I don't know, I think he went uh, a few more months. <laughs> before they put him back in a long boat, pushed him out into the ocean, and there he disappeared into the history of the world, amongst all of the other vagabonds and maniacs uh, who uh, ventured to go out and uh, search for romance and adventure, uh, uh, to be back on the road.